Hello, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to look at conditional breakpoints and the NetBeans IDE debugger. We have here a simple Java class that checks whether a randomly generated number is even or odd. So if we run the small application, we can see right here that the first number that's generated is 79, which is false. We run it again, and 61 is false, 31 is false, 89 is false, 94 is true. And what you want to do now is to set a breakpoint, and the breakpoint should only be hit if the random number is even. So first of all, we just click in the left sidebar, and we have a breakpoint. We start a debug session, and by default, our breakpoint will be hit each and every time. So we can see here it's hit, and we step out and we see 29 is false. So we run the debug session again, we step out of the debug session, 81 is false. Now what we want is the, for the breakpoint to be hit only when the random number is even. We can right click on this little red square, or you can right click on the breakpoint in the breakpoints window, and then you can go to breakpoint and properties. When you do this, you see the breakpoint properties dialog, which is, as you have seen, very easy to get to. Then you can click on the condition checkbox, and all the conditions that you have set recently are available. So recently I've already set even to true. So this is the first one that's available, but several other conditions can be imagined. So we set even to true, and now the breakpoint icon in the left sidebar is slightly different to indicate this is conditional, and when we hover over it with the mouse, we can actually see what the condition is. So there's a conditional breakpoint that's going to be hit when even is true. Now we do our debug session again, and our breakpoint is hit. We step out of it, and we see that we had a even random number. Let's see what the random number is this time. Okay, this time our random number was odd, so uneven, and therefore the breakpoint was not hit. And again, it was uneven, so the breakpoint was not hit. Uneven, 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 and now the breakpoint is hit again, and when we step out we can see that the random number was even. So, very easy to set conditional breakpoints in NetBeans IDE. Just right click on the small red icon and you can get to the properties of the breakpoint and there you can set your condition.